Hello, everybody. I'm Ramses. And I'm the Vesper. And we're here for another edition of Vesper's Retro Reviews. This time for our Spooktober spectacular video game play. It's going to be based on the movie we just watched, and that's, of course, Ghostbusters, the 1984 movie. This is going to be the 1986 Sega Master System version of the game based on the movie. And this is a very infamous, I don't want to say famous, but infamous is the right word because this is a very well-known game. It was on almost every system on the market and computers at the time, and this is one of the quote-unquote better versions of the game because it's improved, it's graphically updated, controls are a little better, better sounding, better everything, but it's still the same game, don't be fooled, and we can't wait to get into this. Vesper is going to play a complete playthrough of Ghostbusters on the Sega Master System. Yep, I actually have this game on my Sega Master System that I had as a kid. And I played it exactly long enough until the Nintendo came out, and then, guess what? Never went back. Even though the Sega Master System looked a lot better than the Nintendo. Yeah, that's true. But that's a story for another day. So, let's give you a little history on the game. So, like I said, there's a very infamous game. It was created by Activision based on the film, quote-unquote. It's sort of based, but it's very weird how it's sort of based. It just has some generalizations that match up to the film. And pretty much, it was first released, I believe, on the Commodore 64... And then it was spread out to every system. They had an NES version, an Atari version, which is horrible, a Master System version, and I think it was also on the 8-bit computers and uh, some, uh, just like almost every system on the market at the time, let's put it that way. And it's very famous for being a not very good game. So, Ghostbusters was the biggest movie in 1984, and of course you knew a video game based on it had to be made, and thus we get a Rush game that gets so many things wrong in every version of it, and the Sega Master System version is no different. Let's look at the instructions here, because Vesper, I think you're going to be very surprised of some of the things that show up in the instructions for this remastered and updated version. This came out in 1986, so they had time to work on it, by the way. Alright, so let's look through here. So far, just looks to be a standard uh, game controller, put your name in. Yada yada yada. Uh, Alright, right, so now we got characters. So of course you're gonna use the quote unquote three Ghostbusters, because you know Winston always gets a shaft in his games. It's so just Peter, Egon, and Ray, but they don't even name them. It's just generic Ghostbuster. We don't even know who these characters are, pretty much. That's right, and here's what we're going to be fighting. We see we have roamers. They like to hit the streets and throw dishes. Well, there yeah. you go. Slimers, friends uh, of the roamers, but a lot faster. So ghosts have friends now. I, I didn't realize that. And then we have the Marshmallow Man. The result of all the ghosts pulling their efforts to make one gargantuan monster. See, now that's not factual for the movie. That's the game's reenactment of it. But there's no proof that all the ghosts just turned into Marshmallow Man, right? That, that well, thing. they had to choose the form of the Destructor in the movie. In this one, they're just like, eh, it's a ghost mating. Yeah, the ghosts just decided to get together. So now, do we have any other characters from the movie? Let's scroll down a little further. Ah, here. Master of the Key. This one has the key to Zuli. What's a Zuli? I don't know. Isn't the question, what's a gozer? Isn't that actually the question? And why is he the master of the key? Isn't he the key master? All right. We have the gatekeeper. All right, gatekeeper. This one takes care of things back at Zuli. So so what does she do? She sort of like uh, cleans and keeps uh, everything organized for, the, for the, the master? Oh, absolutely. I guess the gatekeeper's taking care of that stuff. So now let's see who the big bad, according to the instructions, is. Gorza. Gorza? Who's a, what's Gorza? This was in charge of all of them, armed with deadly laser beams. He's more dangerous than any of them. Wait a second. <laughs> I, I think that the, didn't uh, they say that... Uh, I thought it was a he. he. It's it can be whoever it wants to be, right? Well, I guess the, the Gorzas are wrong. It's a he, and it's a Gorza, and it's in charge of all of them, whatever that means. It, so that he's the Megatron or the cover commander. He sort of leads all the ghosts of the game. Didn't know that. That's, that's good. <laughs> I didn't handy, know there was a head ghost leading all the ghosts. That's kind of cool. Well, let's get on to the game, because quite frankly... Wait a minute, we have the, you forgot the most important part. What do you see on the screen right now? Karaoke. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. The, the, the reason I'm saying we're moving on the game is because you're not singing. So Who are you going to call? It. That's us. it. I will destroy you and put you in one of those traps and put you in the containment unit if you're not careful. That sounds painful. All kidding aside, I hope you guys like this song. Not because because you're going to hear thing. this song throughout the game as is with no variations. You wanted something scary for Spooktober? Have we got something scary? Not the theme of the game, but the game itself. Is that what you're trying to say, Vesper? That's right. So All right, well, push the one or two button. We're using a Sega Master System here. So what you get is you can continue the game, which is cool because 
eventually you can save your money and keep building up. And the only real good reason for that is you can buy a better car and you can buy more supplies to use in the car. That's the only reason you would ever continue the game. And it really it doesn't make sense because once you beat the game, you beat the game. There's no difference in beating the game or not beating the game. You beat the game and you, you well, win. So now put in Vess, V, S, I No, this is your initials. And it's going to be Peter Vinkman. Oh, all right. We're playing as Peter. So let's see what the story is. Welcome to the business world. You are now the proud owner of a new franchise. The bank will advance you $10,000 for equipment. I just want to point this out. If you remember in the movie, they talked about in five years, the interest rate would be like 90 some thousand dollars on a $10,000 loan. Ray really did get ripped off. Yeah, I'll folks. tell you, that's a pretty bad deal. So use it wisely, push button. So now here's an important part. So remember when I said you can continue, you can't afford one of these cars right now because you only start with 10,000. But if you can continue, you will have that 12,000 and you can buy the sports car. And I can't imagine the Ghostbusters is using a green sports car to fight Ghostbusters. Well, you can get the Economy, the Common Fast Car, or the Hearse. Gee, I wonder I which one I want to What looks like a Ghostbusters vehicle? That red one's pretty classy, and the green one, it's, it's lime green. I like it. Yeah, we go with the Hearse. Of course you go with the Hearse. Why wouldn't you pick the Hearse? The Hearse is what you saw in the movie, right? So we have some... All right, so PK Energy Detector. That will show you building's warning level. You need that. Marshmallow Sensor. That's when we, the Marshmallow Man's showing up. Image intensifier that makes the ghost a little clearer. Yeah, so if you have, like, epilepsy, this is definitely one you want. <laughs> yes. Super PK energy. It'll read buildings of being hit across by ghosts the city. across the city, so you don't have to be near it. Same S with this one. Super marshmallow that just it does it from across the city. Ghost vacuum is important. That's if you want to trap ghosts while you're on the street. Ghost bait. That's how you attract the ghosts to you so they're not entering the building. Ghost traps. That's how you capture the ghost. High capacity traps. That gives you more capacity to trap more ghosts at a time. Laser confinement system, you don't have to keep going back to the headquarters to empty your traps. Super Anion Beam makes the beams longer while you're fighting ghosts. Ghost Paralysis System, I think it slows them down. Turbo Charger, your car goes faster. Super Ghost Vacuum, you can suck the ghosts from a longer distance. Defensive Wall, you can use that on the road to stop ghosts and cars. So there you go. That's everything you can get in this game. And some of these items are worthless and useless. Some are very important. You need This to one yes. is probably the most important that one you need. in the game. You don't know what building to go to without the PK Energy. The second most important would be the Ghost Traps. So we're going to start with regular traps because we don't have enough money for the high trap. But we'll have... Yeah, we do. We got 2500 No, you won't have enough money to buy other stuff. You need the ghost vacuum and the oh, ghost yeah. pit. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, so... Ghost vacuum, that's how you suck up the ghost while you're on the road. So we want one of those. You make money every time you do that. Ghost bait you need because when they're about to form Stay Puffed, you need this to stop them. And then you can enter the building. So that's important. And as long as you have $10,000. Yes. So now you want to buy a high-capacity trap, right? Yep. And okay. that'll be it. And that's it. That's all we have. We can buy more stuff later on. But there's something important you need to know. You need $10,000 for some reason. You have to buy your way into the Zool building to beat the game. So if you don't have enough money, you can't beat the game. That's right. It's weird, but that's, yeah, that's the world. So here's the map. You should all be familiar with this if you've seen any version of Ghostbusters. It's exactly the same thing. It's a grid of various buildings in this small city. It doesn't even say it's New York City. It says it's generic city. It could be your city, because look at it. Look at all the buildings that are on your street. Yeah, yeah. If you this was any place but New York, you'd be like, man, this is a highly excellent place. So this is how the game starts. So you just look, go outside a building, you have two generic Ghostbusters, they're fighting, and then you move the beams in, and you push the button, you trap them, and that's it. And look at the money. You got $1,500 for that. So now you go around the city again. Now you don't want to touch the Keeper of the Key and the uh, Gate Master because uh, they'll take money away from you. So be very Yeah, remember, careful. money is life in this. Yeah, you need $10,000, so you don't want to lose it. And the thing is, the ghosts that you see flying at the edges, you touch them, they slow them down, but you see the oh, funny... Oh, vacuum it up? Oh, you didn't get it. But the funny thing is that you actually want the ghost to touch the buildings in the center. The Zool building, because it makes your PKE rise faster. Right, exactly. And notice how they call the building Zool when that was the name of the gatekeeper, right? Yep. Oh, and by the way, this is where Zuli is, I guess. Zuli is, is in the Zul building, right, yes. And those don't look like buildings, do you? So when it's pink, that means there's a ghost nearby. Don't click on it yet. When it turns red, that's when you're allowed to go there to fight the ghost. So it means the ghost is about to arrive there. So move a little closer now. Well, also, don't forget that 
those black dots measure how far you're traveling. Yes, yeah, so now look at this. 48 km we got to travel now because we went all over the city. So watch. 48 kilometers. So basically, I drove 24 miles around the city. Wow. That's a, that's a small city. I mean, that's a big city then if you were able to do that. In the and don't you remember in the movie how they just drove around with a vacuum cleaner on top of their car? Yeah, yeah. I remember that where they were holding the Hoover up there to get all the uh, ghosts into that. was great. But yes, every ghost you vacuum, you get some points. I think it's $500 for the... Eh, it doesn't really matter. This is actually a game of, like the movie, about capitalism. Why are you saying that? It's all about the Benjamins, baby. Yeah, of course, of course. It's, I like how all the fights are outside. Isn't that nice of the ghosts to always go outside for us? Alright, so... And you gotta catch them all. If any of them gets away, they attack you and you, and you actually get slimed. So you gotta be careful. So every ghost you touch on this screen is a ghost you can vacuum on the way to your next location. But you gotta head back to headquarters when you only have the regular traps. And he's gonna buy the high capacity ones now, but when you only have the regular ones, you have to keep heading back to headquarters over and over again to empty these traps. Well, I might not buy the high capacity because, quite frankly, I'm going to be a Scrooge in this because there's really no other reason to have the ghost. What I do want is the fact that later on, I will get this guy in a moment. And then I'm going to go get a uh, the Anion Beams. I really probably don't even need that, as you've seen. But, but we'll show you what it's like to upgrade things, so why yeah, not? It is exactly. the game, you know. Oh, it's ready. So when it's red, that means the ghost is now there. So we vacuum up this ghost. Like how they turn into the little circle there. That's cool. But what do we do? We just keep it in the vacuum the whole time? How does that work? Well, I mean, Hoovers are a good vacuum. I mean, after all, if it wasn't for the other... Proton packs, they would have gone Hoover Vax. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense, actually. So, let's see. Alright, so only three goes to this location. And there they go. Now we're up to, what, 6,900. Alright. So now, you want to head to the shop, and let's see what we can get here. So we're just going to drive one kilometer. Thank God. Yeah. And we go into the shop, and I wonder who's selling in this pink shop. They have all the supplies here. That's well, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and get the Super Ghost Trap. High capacity traps, yes. We have 4,400. Do you want to And I want to go ahead and get that, and that way everybody sees what we got. All right, there you go. Now we'll have nice, fresh beams. Let's get out of here. Now I have to go and uh, drop off. I yes, can't now we still have to clean out the traps. Oh, so no, wait. I got the super capacity. Oh, but we have new traps. That's right. That is correct. So we can now hit to another location. That's right. And you also want to be careful. You want to be, like, near the lines, by the way, folks, because... Avoid those stop barriers, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at all this. So we haven't seen any Slimers yet, by the way. We've only seen these yellow guys. Oh, wow. The Aeon Beams don't look like they're any... Uh, it doesn't uh, look much better. I don't know. No? There we go. All right, we got them all. We're back to 3,400. I have zero traps left now. All right, so them. now touch those ghosts to stop them. Give me, buy me some time. Now we're going to head to GHQ, which is Ghostbuster Headquarters, in case you weren't keeping score. And if you're wondering which one it is on the building here... It doesn't matter, because it's just going to stop in random building every time. I know. That's what I mean. Like I said, the game looks better on the second Master's, but did you know, it really change anything? No. I really wish to give a, us a chance for Peter to run around and just pick up girls. Oh, know? that'd be cool. I mean, but you can't touch the Keeper of Keys. And the... Yeah, which is funny, because he does. Or the Gatekeeper, or whatever they call it. Oh, I forgot what the instructions call it. Yeah. She's the Gate Gatekeeper. Keeper, right. And he's, she's trying to hook up with the Master sure, of keys. the Keys. Yeah, the Master of the Keys. Gotta use a fancy title. Ah, oh, there we go. We got Slimers finally. So Slimers are in this game, folks. Did you notice that? He uh... slimed me. Not being serious, but did you notice that the uh, traps, even though they're super high capacity trap, says it holds a uh, it holds three or whatever. It's just yeah. one. All right, so maybe use... the instructions were wrong. We don't know. Maybe either we're doing something wrong or the instructions are wrong, but. It... Right now, it doesn't look like the high capacity traps are holding more, but let's see what happens here. Alright, so the ghost didn't arrive yet. So we're that was a red building. No, it's gone now. Alright, so try to stop these ghosts from entering. We're not ready yet. We have to get to 10,000, remember? That's yeah, that's why you do this to that's slow That's why you gotta down. stop them. Alright, so that building's turning. So that building already got attacked before, so I guess they keep on going back to that Well, building. we gotta wait for it. So isn't that a lot of walking that the other two ghosts are doing here? Yeah, I know. And this is why I'm standing still, folks, because just driving uh, around randomly is never... It's going to add more yeah, kilometers to travel. And this is not a long game, folks. As you can see, we're almost to red. And if I hadn't bought the Anion Beam, which doesn't seem to be working right now... <laughs> I don't even know if it's doing it. Alright, we got 
four ghosts there. Remember, this is not a good game, folks. Yep, back to the yellow ghost. It's not terrible, but it's not good. It's one of the- well, you'll see how fun it ranking when we get there, but yeah. You get what you get with this game, that's the best way I can put it. Yep, and some games you can actually change oh, the ratings. direction. Oh, no. oh, oh, we gotta clean out the trash. So, high capacity, everybody, right. That's right. I think we should buy another trap, maybe. Uh, no, we're getting so close to red. Alright. This, okay. Peter Vinkman needs more to do than just take and pick up traps. He wants to pick up women. Well, yeah. There we go, we're back to our car, and we have three red buildings now. No, uh, one disappeared. Alright. Does that mean, like, the owners were killed or something? Yeah, I guess it just means the ghost attacked, they let laughed and left, you know, what else can I do? Well, I dodged that. Oh, wow, look at all the yellows. All right. All right. So this might put us on Money, money, money. Yeah, this is going to get us close. And by the way, you know what you say at a point like this? What? No job is too big. No fee is too big. That's true, yes. Spoken like a true Peter Bank, man. And yes, 11,000. All right, head up. Oh, okay. So they're moving a little faster now. Notice how their PK energy is yellow now, right? Yep. I was going to go ahead and drop it I'm off. going to clean it while we're here. Oh, yeah. So I like it. It is true to the movie. You had to put the trap into the uh, containment unit. Every That's time. right. That didn't take all I'm three. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Why not? Why not? It's fine for our viewers to watch this bust ghost here, right? That's right. Although, I do wonder if you actually even have to stop the stay puff. I wonder if you just need the... I think you do, yes. You don't... You, you, I think you can't... It's been too long. You get charged money, actually. Yeah, so you might lose your 10000 That's right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, 13,000. Mm. So I see why the Ghostbusters did so. Alright, head to the next building. Alright, so maybe this building will look different, folks. Let's see what happens. So are you enjoying the Ghostbusters theme over and over in your head here? Oh! oh no! You crashed. Whoops! Uh, but thank goodness you have instant respawn, because the Ghostbusters didn't become ghosts for some reason. Hey, look, I guess, uh... They, uh, got a good tow truck or something. <laughs> so that cost, what, uh, $500, it looks yeah. like? Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can get all the Slimers. There of course I can. Alright, we're back to 14. I'm Peter freaking Vinkman. Alright, so don't touch the uh, those two because you'll lose money. But the, uh, I don't know what these high capacity traps do. I don't know. They don't do anything! I just wanna wait. Oh well, no, you have no traps. You gotta go clear. I don't need traps. I just need to put down the ghost thing. I'm gonna go to the ghost as a headquarters, but this is gonna take two. Alright, here we go. We're gonna drive back to headquarters, and by the time we're there, the PK meter should All be... Alright. PK well, sorry energy red. should be red now. Yeah, sorry, red. So anytime in the red, something can happen. We'll show you. Be ready for it. We're not going to give it away, but something's going to happen when that meter's in the red. So that's that's really the goal of the game. You want to get this meter to the red, but have enough money. By literally just waiting. Yes. I so hate to say, you're just waiting. Alright, so we're in the red now. Oh, there. Push it. There so we that's go. that's what you're supposed to do. Yes. Alright, so we captured them. Alright, there you go. And we just made money from doing that. Now we have to uh, right, now we gotta wait, wait for again. it to go full again. Yeah. I don't right, have any more. Oh uh, no! Remember, I don't have any more. We'll go buy another uh, bait. Yeah. Yep. All right, we gotta buy another bait. We were just whoa, four thousand off that. Holy yeah, we're gonna buy another crap. bait. Whoops. <laughs> that was expensive. Folks. Well, at least we got to see Stay Puft destroy something because you know here we love destruction for our spooky. Remember, cover. it's a hallucination, folks. That's right. It never happened. That church is fine. It was already uh, ready for destruction. All right, so let's buy. The uh, more. bait. Yeah, let's get some baits here. Oh, wait, we can only get one bait. All right, so we do have the bait. I guess you just have to go to location to reset it. Is that what it is? Uh, or we have to go back to Ghostbusters to headquarters to reset it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, yeah. we our parts went up. Go to Ghostbusters to headquarters. I'm going to actually get some money first. Yeah. All right, here we, are. here we go. We're going to fight some more ghosts while the city's being destroyed. No, remember, I tried pushing it. Remember, after I went and dropped off the ghosts before. So, getting the... Uh, uh oh, I got him. There we go. So, is it epileptic enough for you folks? Yeah, we can make it more solid, but you have to spend a lot of money to do that. Alright, we're back there up. We, we made our money back. So, we got All a little right. bit of extra. Alright, push it again. There, we, there go. we go. Now, head to another location just to reset it again. Yeah, I think it's locations and not yeah. the. So, go there. Good. That's what it is. So, you gotta fight the ghost and then it resets. Okay. Yeah, but now I have to run all the way back. Yep, and now all these slimers. Alright, you missed the sign. Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, here we go. I also hate the fact that they're also the ones that go as high as they can possibly Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, so now head back to headquarters. But don't go through the uh, keeper of keys. 
Keeper of Keys, that's right. Oh, oh good, see, that's what it is. So you have to go to another yep. building now? That's what it is, it resets every time you come back onto the spin. Now we figured it out, folks. Man. They, they tried pretty daggone quick at This Is New York, because I recall well, they, 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 when yeah. we were last up there, visiting it uh, was not nearly as fast as this. No, no, this is pretty fast, I'll tell you. The 80s things are much faster, I'll tell you. Alright, so me. now the energy's full, so we're about ready to hit it. Here we are. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna head right in now, look at what's happening. They're both in it, all the ghosts are in, our logo's in there. Go to Zool. Which makes no sense. So oh, now boy. this is a fun part. Before you do it, let's explain what happens here. So that's the tiny. I guess he shrunk in the wash or something because he used to be as big as that. Bill, uh, next well, time. yeah, that church. <laughs> now remember how I said, don't go but through his legs. You have to go. So you got to sort of sneak. All right, we got one in. There you go. Let's see what happens. You don't want to get stomped by him. All right, timing is everything, and we got two, two in. Woo! All right, so two made it. The two made it in, so now we have all three Ghostbusters here, and now this is the next mini game of the game. You gotta, so you don't get the ones below you. Just keep going up. Oh no, hat. Oops, wrong way. Oh, there you go. You can fire in front of you or diagonally upwards. That's... Which you can't do that in other games. Right. So fire diagonally upwards. Huh? Then you got fire. Yep. Because they oh, wait, will the chase you. Back. Yep. Slimers are fast. That's the problem with them. There you go. I right, keep going. No, you can walk by him. I oh, can't move. Up. Yeah. Oh, you could have walked by him. Was it certain? There you go, keep going. Yep. Alright, fire across. Alright, move back down. Ah! So this is why this is better than the NES. The NES was terrible with this. You couldn't get past these yes. guys. This one at least, it, they fixed it, so it is beatable. Alright, so the plate me. one you gotta be careful of. Diagonal. Ah! No, nope, you had a fire diagonal. Alright, All right, so we lost one, so let's try again. Ghostbuster number two, here we go. Yep. And the thing is, you gotta kill these little guys, they'll chase you down. Not except for the Slimers. Diagonal. Fire cross. There you go. He can't dilly dally. Fire, fire, fire. I keep going, he won't get you. Keep going. Yep. Go up, up. What are you doing? No, you didn't have to get him. Yeah, I did. Don't you tell me what to I've do. I've seen playthroughs where people just walked right by. Well, you've seen playthroughs of people who aren't careful. Because I don't watch playthroughs. Well, because I'm better than you. Oh, and then you got a new green one. Look at this. Well, he just decided to go that way. All right, he just. I don't know what he he's is doing. But a lot of the plates. I, don't know what's I have to kill this guy because. Yeah, the plate ones are the hardest. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the plate ones. All right, diagonal, diagonal, no, nope. diagonal, no, nope. diagonal, no. Nope. Yep, yep, diagonal. <laughs> Fire, fire, oh wow, this guy's really playing hard to get, there he goes, okay. Well, I remembered how long it took for them to do it in the actual game. Yeah, I do remember, that was tough. Well, uh, not game, but movie. Alright, we made it to the top of the stairs, let's see what happens now. Alright, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna do this. Oh, look at that, Gorza. So you have to fight Gorza on top of, well, that's an interesting look, it looks, sort of looks well, like Well, that was a way. cheap shot. Yeah, look at that, it fires lasers at you, and fireballs, oh no. A bunch of spam here. Shoot! Oh, uh, you're out. Alright, at least you got some energy down. Well, the problem is you really can't dodge between the lasers. Oh no, and the energy refilled. Again. Oh my god, I I was still. All that for nothing. Alright, let's try again. Okay, alright, look out. Was, yeah, yeah, okay. uh, it looked to the left and then the right. Yeah, yeah, good, good. And then, okay, alright, we almost got it. Well, there we go. to the left. Again, and again. Oh, look out for the fire. Yep, good, good. Alright, this is this is intense folks. I think we got him. Um, and we did it! Oh, oh, not bad on you, oh, like Ghostbuster. Oh! Good job. So we beat Gorza the Terrible or whatever they're gonna call oh, this thank game. God. Let's see what we get. We get congratulations! We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You saved the city and will go down in history as the hero who annihilated Gorza, the god of destruction. For your gallant effort, you have earned a reward of $5,000. Upon awakening from a deep slumber, Gorza attempted to destroy our great metropolis. However, you crushed his vicious plan and stopped him once and for all. You will have thus restored peace to peace and order to our beloved city. The end. There you go. That's right. Insert generic city here. And look, I made $5,000 for saving the city. <laughs> Why did I even bother? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder that myself. I mean, one of, the, one of our buddies got cored by a laser beam, but I guess he got better. I guess he's all right. You don't hear anything happen to him. It seems like everyone happily and ever after. And that's it. So now how would you continue the game? Push start here, and you go to continue. And then you put in 
P, uh, uh, V, and let's see. Yes, that. right. Do you know your account number, sir? I do not know my account <laughs> number, sir. <laughs> well, I guess we can't continue the game, but that's all right. We wanted to show you a complete playthrough of Ghostbusters, the video game on the Sega Master System. I don't think. Like I said, why would you continue this game? You already beat it. You did everything you can in it. What is the point of playing this again? I don't know. I honestly think that the first time is enough when you beat it because, oh, joy, look, my super traps didn't work. Yes. Oh, yes. joy, the ghost bait only works after you go into another building and clear it. Yeah, right. For some oh, reason. Oh, joy, said, all uh, these things only work half the time except for the ghost vacuum which works 100 percent of the time and but the problem is you don't need the super vacuum because you don't get enough ghost yeah exactly i don't even get why you'd upgrade it the regular vacuum worked fine i don't know the whole thing's weird but i am gonna say it's a classic it really is it's it's one of those games nobody loves this game there's no one that says oh boy i love the original ghostbusters game but everyone seems to have a weird memory of it like oh yeah i beat that or oh yeah it sucked or oh yeah i played it i mean everyone has a memory of this game so that's why it's sort of put into our classic retro lore here and i think it's very fitting after watching ghostbusters the movie that we had to play the game also that is quote-unquote based and it's very loosely based on the movie that the, they can't even get the names right they can't even get the feel right a lot of weird things are going on here but it's fun for what it is but just realize this is one of the better versions of the game and that's why we we're able to beat it the other versions are a little tougher than it. oh yeah especially in the nintendo version where you can only shoot diagonally oh yeah yeah and then the Atari version, which is just so pathetic, it's, it's funny. So, yeah, that was Ghostbusters, part of our Spooktober 23 celebration. Let us know what you thought, uh, which game did you play? I mean, because Ghostbusters was on so many different computers and, and systems at the time. Let us know your memories and what version you had. There's a version that says Ghostbusters when the game starts and laughs at you. That's always funny. There's some that have better renditions of the song. There's some that don't have as many stages. So many different options, but that was Ghostbusters, and we are so glad we finished it. And never have to play this ever again. But at least you could say we did beat it. Told you I beat the game when I was a kid. I can beat it now. I can beat it a little faster because as a kid, you know, we didn't have the internet to help us like... Push the bait now. Empty this now. Go here now. Right. We have all the You had to figure it all yeah. out on your own. Yes. And once you do, you'll remember because you're like, oh God, I don't want to play this game ever again. <laughs> And I think that's fitting. That's going to be the end of this episode of Vesta Retro Reviews, our Spooktober 23 video game edition. Thanks for joining us. We hope you're having a wonderful Spooktober. Happy Halloween to everybody. Trick or treat. Get some good candy. And remember to play and watch Ghostbusters. You don't know what you're missing. You haven't been scared fully until you try beating any version of this game. And boy, did this scare us. And we're going to have uh, nightmares for a long time to come now after this experience. The major thing to remember is please... Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and... Ring that ghost. I mean, that bell. And we'll see you all next time on Vesper's Retro Reviews. See you all next time, folks. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.